Not surprising. It's probably gonna take me a little while. Seeing as I'll have to have done quite a bit of shopping to understand it, if someone's ripping me off or not. So for now, I'm just going to turn in this ghoul contract by some guy who wanted their blood. And then I am going to make it night. I'm going to meditate until nightfall. And kill another one of those dogs. So I have ten skulls and give them to the alchemist for some more money. Then, I'll go see the reverend, after meditating so it's day again, of course, because I don't want to be fighting dogs every step of the way. So, it's somebody in the inn, apparently. So, in we go. And I assure you, the pun was unintentional. Fighting or watching? Shame. Who am I looking for? Let's see. Kalkstain. I'm looking for someone with an actual name. Kalkastein, or however the hell you say that. No daredevils here today. Albedo? Yes, this solution. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it is. He is here. What brings you here? And who is this fellow? So, first we'll question him. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, which uh, a cradle of and science. And someone who doesn't mind it. witchers. Did the convention uh, reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible uh. experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Uh, conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous oh, shadows. Oh, wow. A single raftsman can never know every An secret alchemist, of the river. and he must sail he's to the drowning us in metaphors. Knowledge with I can't raftsmen. say I'm too impressed by this. And can spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm... Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. Yes, heaven I've forbid the alcohol friend, be badly alchemist. distilled. He is my only hope. Hopefully because that's clearly the worst part of it. Mm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me, they must. Okay, but final. I have to say, finally, someone who isn't a dick to us just for being a witcher. I'm inclined to like this guy just on that premise, but he is entertaining. I'll give him that. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not, but you're a mutant, a scientifically wrought improvement, something unnatural. And he doesn't that mean it as it. an insult, Don't that's take nice. Offense. I'm merely curious. Okay, any help you need from a witcher, though? Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. I did, as a matter of fact. I'll get to that in a bit. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not a local. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! 
typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. Okay. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine. What do you wish to know? Yeah. Okay. This guy. Well, let's just say there's being passionate about your field of study, and then there's having a creepy obsession. I'm pretty sure he has a creepy obsession. But it's a useful creepy obsession, so I'll put up with it. And we're going to talk about alchemy for a bit. So I may not be talking while he's talking. Get used to it. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. Smart of you, not trying to go after them yourself. You're not suicidal. I like that. How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. That made no if sense I don't at have all. A coupled atonator handy. I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Yeah, use booze is basically what you do for alchemy. Formula, formulae, I think I'm saying that right. Talk about them now. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. Okay, I th since I can't talk about anything else, that's enough on alchemy. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun! Okay. So, you need ghoul blood? I have some, but I do expect you to pay. I'm not a charity. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Yes, I do. But I do require money before I hand it over. If you've worked with witchers before, then you know how it works. Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research. Okay. 100 orans for some ghoul blood. And we received something on the basics of alchemy. Now what? Let's see, where is our fire? To again. No. The phantoms that serve her. Damn those bloodhounds. They're called bar guests. I hope I never encounter one. Now uh, there's the fireplace. I'm going to overwrite. Or rather, no, I'm not. I'm going to quick save. Just in case my attempt to get that last Vargas skull goes horribly wrong. I want to be able to come back to a recent time period. That, and apparently I have some skills to level up. Let's see here. Mm, 
10% more damage. And attack from a distance. Uh, that, and I think I'll go for student under Ard. That's all my points. Now I want to meditate until after dark. So, four hours. Now I'm going to kill one of those things for its skull. And then I'll be back. And, uh, it looks like oils do expire. As you can see. You should have surrendered! Uh... I'll take that last skull now. I'll be collecting my reward at a later time. Because I... Excellent. I do not have to waste my flint anymore. I cannot... And hit the thing from a distance. Now I will meditate for nine hours. And once it's light again, I'll set off and see Abby the Witch. And I will get paid by her. Next. It seems that everyone in this general area is paying Geralt for something. Not that I complain. Not that I'm complaining about the money. Getting some cash from people for doing odd jobs for them and killing beasts that they're too incompetent or useless to kill is nice. If they're willing to pay me for jobs they need done but can't be bothered to do themselves, well, I'm not one to complain about getting money. Okay, that is the wrong direction. So yeah, time for us to get some more money. And I'm not about to complain about the cash. We've certainly had no shortage of jobs to do so far. What do you want? Okay, I found your notice about the skulls. I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast skulls? I do. They're yours, but I'm going to need some money first. You know how it works with witchers, right? I do. They're yours, for a price. I knew you'd manage it. And take this mandrake root. You might find it useful. Why, thank you. Be seeing you, then. See you later. Quest completed, and 100 orans. And then a mandrake root. Not bad. Not bad at all. So... Prominent residents. Earn the villagers' trust. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go and play a game of dice at the end before I do this other thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go play a game of dice at the end and see if that blacksmith if he's who I think he is, has cooled down enough What's after this? my rather tactless question about if he trades with those squids tell terrorist rebel dudes. I'm gonna see if he's cooled down enough to talk to me again. Be alert. Though I very much doubt he has. Yes? 
good, he has. First of all, we'll ask this. I'm going to ask the Who thing I... <laughs> Terrorists of five engine call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoia'tael is elven for squirrels. Called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. And I am not asking that because it will clearly piss him off for quite a while. So, we just want to know this mainly based off that encounter that we had at night. Am I likely to find them around here? Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Alright. What's the deal with the locals and non-humans, anyhow? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Yeah. I kind of get this guy. He's a businessman. For anything else is what I'm kind of getting out of him. Uh, doesn't get involved in the particulars. It's in politics and stuff. He's just a businessman. He trades with... He does his trade and that's the end of it. Which I think Geralt Let's would kind of respect. Weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores, and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some ore, then. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh, legal, but, uh, I really need the gold. All right. We're not exactly short on cash right now, so I'll do it. Yeah. This grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Listen. Nice. We have 975 gold. Sorry, Orin. I keep calling it gold, even though the name for the currency is Orin's. Which is a little silly of me, I have to admit. It's just, I play so many games where gold is both the currency and a type of ore, so I'm used to doing that by this point. I'll try and get out of the habit, but I can't guarantee anything, of course. So, let me see. Antiqui... No dead uh, here today. Antiquiary? Oh, there's a gambler. I'm going to challenge him, I think. You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Yeah. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. And if honest, you cheat me, me? I will no kill you. To sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. Yeah? A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game. But I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Okay. Who is this hunter? Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Okay. That. Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Narakort. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve. What do you mean? 